Hey guys, Eckhart's Ladder here, and today I am doing my most requested video, by far, barring none, and uh, you guys should be excited because this is going to be special. Well, not really, but people have actually requested this for a long time. Today we're talking about probably one of the top five most ridiculous parts, but also one of the most fun parts of the Star Wars Legends canon. Today we are talking about Mount Soro, the crying mountain from one of the Ewok adventures. And what we're going to do is a little bit different today. We're going to do a read through of the comic itself. It's not super long. It's a little silly. We can just go through. I'm not going to read every line or anything, but let's, uh, for a bit of background, Tebow, who is this Ewok right here, the, uh, I forget which, oh yeah, the one with the, the yellow hat and the, the red fur has a condition which makes him laugh and play pranks on the other Ewoks. So the other Ewoks want to bring him to the, the Soro Mountain because his tears, or Mount Soro, because his tears are supposedly able to cure anybody. So we see the first prank right here, and boy, is it silly. Um, Tebow, they're supposed to be pulling him off the ledge, presumably because he has trouble laughing while well, inclining at the same crying, <laughs> laughing and climbing at the same time. Although they're like, oh my god, he's so heavy. Really, he's just attached a rock to the thing and he's climbing, climbing up. And this is just, this is basically as as in depth and compelling as the story gets. It's mostly just fun. It's for kids, and uh, I kind of like the art style actually. So they're climbing this mountain. They don't really know what to expect, and they reach the top. Greetings, and the mountain has a face, and this was actually part of Star Wars Legends canon at one point. This wasn't a non-canon story, this was legit. Why do you seek my tears? Speak. Well, Mr. Mountain, sir, our friend is under a terrible spell. Let him come forth. If he is worthy, I shall weep for him. Well, of course you will. I mean, you're a mountain, what else would you do? Um, okay, lay some tears on me, big boy, he says, because, you know, he's infected by this uh, laughing bird disease, I forgot what it's called. It's been a long time since I've read this whole thing all the way through, so obviously he's not taking it very seriously. And um, Tebow is affecting the mountain, of course, because, I mean, obviously the mountain would be affected by the laughing spell. If not, that wouldn't really make any any sense. So he's he's laughing so much that the mountain's falling apart, which leads to a very, very sweet moment where he's basically like, it's just a mistake. And they, they want to keep there, but he's like, you know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth trying to cure myself if it's going to put my friends in danger. But first, there's a bit of, uh, of course, there's a bit of fun action. But yeah, here's the sweet moment right here. 20 bottom, pa bottom panel. Forget it, guys. I'm leaving. What? Haha, <laughs> I'd rather spend the rest of my life like this than to risk losing you again. And look at the mountain's face in the background there. Look at his face. He's like, oh my god, I misjudged this guy. He's got some... Some giggles, but he's not a completely uh, heartless being. Because without both of you, life wouldn't be worth living. And look, you can see he's just trying to hold it. Also, what's going on with the art here? Why did, why is this white? I mean, why is this not white? Like, and why is the background here all white? Like the, so many questions. Now I kind of want to go back and look, see what else we might have missed. It seems like maybe the rope is going on different sides of the mountain here. That's not a huge issue, but. Yeah, now I'm just wondering what else, what other important background bits we, we missed. And oh yeah, I should mention, I am reading this online because there's no other way to do it. But if you guys enjoy stuff like this, like what else would you like as part of your Star Wars collection than a silly story like this? There's nothing negative about this story. It's dumb as anything, but it's, it's a collectible. So if you guys enjoy this, you should support it. Um, I just had no other real way to, to, uh, to share this right now. And I'm purposely going kind of fast so you can't read the whole thing. Um, oh, here we go. I Sorry, spoiler alert, guys. Um, so, yeah. So they say, haha, coming, but but Tebow. And then Wicket, of course, that's Wicket the Ewok. The, the Wicket from Return of the Jedi. And the other one is, um, oh, what's his name? He's named after the guy who played Wicket. Um, the guy that was just at Star Wars Celebration. Why can't I remember his name? Um... Oh yes, Warwick. That's what it is. Warwick Davis. And um, so we've got Wicket in the yellow. Warwick in God knows what. And God help him. And then Tebow. 
So I've got a good group of boys here. And uh, obviously, Tebow's, you know, his sweetness, he's a sweet boy, has, uh, has made the mountain cry. And the tears, of course, remember, are healing. Um, and he's mad. He doesn't understand. He goes, hey, what the, is someone trying to drown me or what? Yeah, someone else is on top of the mountain trying to drown you. He says, haha, you're not laughing. Of course I'm not laughing. I'm soaking wet. And he looks, what's going on here? Does he have a feather in his cap? I guess he does. And he says, Sob, I've never seen anyone more worthy of my tears. You are a true hero, young Tebow. Take all the tears you want. And he says, ah, that was enough. Very well. And he leaves the mountain, which is a pretty shitty thing to do. Go up a mountain, kind of emotionally abuse it to the extent that it needs to cry, and then just peace out and leave. Like, they get what they want from the mountain, and now, now they don't want to hang out. Um, so anyways... You can see here that uh, young Tebow is about to, you know, pop out another funny pun, but he doesn't. Um, and that's basically how it ends. And it's a magical story, obviously. And I, like, I, I wanted to do an analysis of this and do my standard heavily edited video, but I was like, how much can I really, really talk about a crying mountain? I mean, this is a fun story, and... I don't know what to call this video. Maybe, maybe read along, comic read along. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but let me guys let me know if you guys kind of like this format. It doesn't need to necessarily be for more silly stuff. It's kind of nice to to go and actually look at the original artwork. Um, although it's not always amazing, but it's 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 actually not bad. Certainly, it's not bad, especially for what it is. Um, for everyone that says how ridiculous Star Wars has gotten now, just this this is only the tip of the proverbial crying iceberg. There is so much more silly stuff in the Star Wars canon other than this. Also, it looks like they're all wearing lipstick here. <laughs> also, look at um, is that Wicket back there or Tebow? I can't tell. Oh, that's Tebow because he's got the hat. Look at Tebow's face back there. Yeah, it's just. This is a mess, but a, a really fun mess and a good mess, and I don't know, I, I kind of love it all. So this is only one of actually three comics in this issue. So Ewoks was basically a long-running, um, let's go up to the talk. It was basically a long-running comic book series, and this is, I think, issue seven. What year did it come out? It usually says here somewhere. But yeah, a ton of fun. There are... Oh, this is a reprint because it's got the Legends uh, It's got the legends thing on. So this is a reprint of the original. It's a ton of fun. I mean, it's got three stories in it. This is just one. This there. Oh, there's the Laughing Bird. And look, he's about to... Uh, he pulls one of his feathers. Oh, that's what's in his hat, the, la the Laughing Bird feather. Um, so he pulls that out, and then he sticks that in his cap, as you do. And he gets the Laughing Bird disease, which makes him, as you can see here... Go hog wild nonstop. Sounds really friggin' annoying, actually. So, the life of an Ewok was clearly very magical and very special, at least until the Death Star 2 blew up over it and Hellfire rained down on the planet, presumably killing all life, including the Crying Mountain, all the Ewoks, Tebow and Wicket, and I'm sure all their family members and friends. So, things probably got pretty dark at some point. After this, but their adventures before that, before the rebel terrorists ruined their way of life, was surely pretty fun. Maybe we'll look at that again in the future. But that's all. Oh, that's a nice scene. Nice little, uh, I was about to sign off, but, you know, I'm still kind of interested in what's going on. But, um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Firemaker. Er, uh, I think that's what it was for. Anyways, guys. He's got a sling on his arm. This is all so fun. I don't know what's going... Oh, he's wet. Anyways, guys, this is, I think, my third time trying to sign out. I just can't leave the Ewoks. It's so fun. It's kind of weird that they... The art style in this is weird, but it's fun. It's like there's so much white and there's so much um, washed out color in it, but I like it. It's very... Very Star Wars comic-y. It's what you'd expect. So is he floating there? But, um... But anyway, oh my god, they've got it around his neck. Did they carry him up the mountain by the neck? <laughs> oh my goodness. That was a terrible mistake. 
That was a terrible, terrible mistake. Don't do that yourselves, guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My fourth time trying to do the outro. Really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys are enjoying my channel. I've got a lot of new subscribers in the past few weeks, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who is watching. I really, really appreciate it. I know I say that at the end of my videos, every video, but I do, and that's kind of why I felt like doing something a little more lighthearted, a little more silly, especially where a lot of my videos have been a bit more serious lately. I'm going to try to put out another video today, too, on top of this one. So again, if you don't like this, you know, that's fine. Feel free to leave a dislike. But there's other stuff on the channel today. And uh, just like the rambling video I did yesterday, this is, you should consider this an extra. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Eckhart's Ladder, signing out. May the Force be with you.